Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial looking at hyperlinks in Affinity Publisher, the beta version. Now, this has only just been introduced um, and it's version 1.7.0238. Um, it's on the PC, I'm guessing there is a uh, Mac version probably might be have the same number might have a different number. I don't know. I don't have a Mac But this only came out yesterday So I myself am still learning about it, but I thought I'd do a quick video To sort of look at how that works because it should work pretty much as the Ceres old product which was um, page plus um, So I've set up this very very quick basic document full of fill of text and your picture here and there and in a couple of places I've added Pixabay's web address I've got one there over here I've also got underlined link found on page 6 there's another link to Pixabay there and I don't think I put anything in these middle pages uh, but on the bottom page I've added another link to Pixabay and a picture which I made some time ago. So this is an imaginary document that is a Pixabay overview. So this is what we're going to work with. So hyperlinks is just a link from a piece of text to a certain place like a web address or a certain place within the document like page 6 or to other items which I'm not 100% certain how they all work because I had a quick look at the help file and although they've done a new version of this the help file hasn't been updated hyperlink isn't even in the index so this is sort of going on my knowledge of how page plus worked rather than anything else so I may make errors, but hopefully I will get it right. So first of all, we need the web address of Pixabay. I mean, admittedly, I know it's in here, but if I come to Google and I start doing Pixabay, so it's Pixabay there. So I will just copy their address and come back to my document and then I'll just highlight the text that I want to be hyperlinked and then I'll come up to text down to interactive and then insert hyperlink now you get this new panel here where you can link to a page within the document or from the drop-down menu to an anchor so if you have an anchor point somewhere in the document you could probably um, go straight to that which I must admit I really don't know quite how anchors work so I will f won't go into that one URL is the web address which is the one we're looking for file I'll look at a bit later and email again I really don't know quite what that will do I'm guessing it might open your email program but I'm not going to test that at the moment so I'm going to go to URL. Now if you click in this URL box, now they haven't given you the option to sort of right click and paste, which is a slight oversight in my opinion, it won't paste. And you can't even come up to edit and paste, it won't let you. So you're going to have to do Control V, or I'm guessing it's Command V on a Mac. Um, or physically type in the web address, which can be quite laborious. Some web addresses are really long. So you'll have to use the keyboard shortcuts to paste in at this present moment in time with this particular version of Affinity Publisher. And then just click OK. So that will now, let me come off that in a minute, that will now turn to blue with an underlining. So that is that one done. Now we've got another one down here. So I'll do the same thing. 
come up to text interactive change to ULR and control V OK now this one over here I've got link found on page 6 I will highlight that text come up to text um, where has it gone I've lost it interactive hyperlink now this one I want to link to a page and it's obviously page 6 so I'm going to put this up to 6 and click OK and again that will still be blue and underlined so I come down to page 6 I'll just highlight that text go to you RL and paste that in and then the last thing I'm going to look at is this image which I made for a previous um, tutorial where I looked at um, testing the image of a preset for a web page but um, I'll come to the move tool and I'll highlight that and again although it's not text you can do it from the text menu interactive hyperlink and this time I'm just going to go to file and then you have to sort of navigate to where that is and that for me on my computer is there and then click OK so that is all the various hyperlinks I want to do in this quick tutorial so I'm now going to export that as a PDF I've got some overflowing text but this is only a tutorial so I'm not worried about that so I'm going to ignore and continue PDF and then export and then save just wait for that to be exported Go. so I'll drop that down drop that down and come up to the file that I've just made and I'll double click on that and it will open up the PDF of this image so if I now click on the hyperlink it will open a new web page Come back, there's, there should be another one here. We click on that one so again. That opens another web page. And if I click on this one here, it will go down to page six. Again, if I click on this link, it's going to eventually, hopefully, open up a new web page. And lastly, the image that I made down here. Now if I click on this, now I'm guessing this will have to be only on my computer because the, the file is only on my computer and not on somebody else's. If I click on that, it will come up about, you know, this document is trying to connect and do you allow this? So I will click allow and again I'll go yes and it has now opened that file in Affinity Photo because that is the default um, image processor um, program that I have on my computer so basically that is how the hyperlinks can be used and admittedly I do I haven't looked at everything because I don't really know about how anchors or the email part of it works um, as there's not any help files to go by but hopefully this will get you started and you can tinker around and look at anchor and look at email and see what it does so thank you for watching and goodbye.